a video on the new 3D map, which is in 15.0 Ed Discovery. This new 3D map provides better functionality, faster user response, and solves one of the problems with the previous 3D map, where the number of stars that the EDSM database has was overwhelming it. The 3D map also works better when you don't have any EDSM stars downloaded as it shows you the galaxy without needing that data on your PC. To open the 3D map, click on the selector and then select one of the two buttons inside the 3D map tile. You can either pop it out into a new window or you can open it as a tab. Here we'll open it as a new tab. Or we can open it as a pop out window. Or you can open it as a panel inside a splitter. You can even open multiple 3D maps at the same time. For instance, we'll open two pop out windows. You can open as many as you want in the current version of EDD, but note that your graphics card may run out of memory if you open too many of them. The 3D map works by holding two positions. The first is the look at position, which is given in the first three numbers here, X, Y, Z. That's the position you're looking at. The second position is the eye position, which is given in the last three numbers here. That's the position where the camera is. The distance here shows the distance between the two positions, between the eye and the look at. You can manipulate the eye and look at positions using the keyboard and mouse. You can move the look at position around by holding down the left key of the mouse and moving the mouse left or right or up or down. You can translate the eye position by holding the right key of the mouse down and moving forwards and backwards or left or right. And finally, you can translate the Z position of the eye by holding down both keys and moving up or down. You can also translate the I and look at positions together by using the W, S, A or D keys. You can rotate the look at position by using the Q and E keys. You can translate the Z position by using the R key to go up and the F key to go down. Note you can hold down the shift key to double the speed of movement and that the cursor keys and the page up and page down key do the same as these keys. Other keys you can use are T and G to pitch up and pitch down. And you can also use number pad nine and three to actually physically rotate the camera. This can produce quite interesting views. If you get the camera completely out of position and can't manually reset it, press the galaxy key which zooms you to the default position. To change the distance between the eye and look at, use the mouse wheel. This allows you to zoom in and see more detail and the objects will become larger or you can zoom out. You can also use the control keys to zoom in or zoom out. Control one zooms in as close as possible and control nine zooms out as far as possible. 2 to 8 do intermediate steps between. I will now demonstrate some further controls you can use to move around your travel history. To do this I will zoom in using control 1. The home button takes you to the current system that you're located in. If you zoom in slightly further using the mouse wheel you can see I'm in this system. You can use the left and right buttons next to the home button to move along the travel path, system by system. You can also search for a system by typing into the search box and selecting an entry. You can interact with objects by right clicking on them. This will display a menu allowing you to find information about the object, to go to it, to display it on a system view view it on EDSM or edit or change or create bookmarks. You can also right click on EDSM objects shown by the map. 
right clicking on it allows you to find information about it and the information dialog it will show you the text downloaded from EDSM you can then just click OK or you can hit go to to fly to it the menu allows you to configure what objects are displayed on the 3D map the menu presents you with a set of controls to configure how the 3D map is displayed and what objects are shown on the 3D map. The top line allows you to control individual aspects of the 3D map. Starting from the left, the 3D and 2D buttons allow you to change how the galaxy is presented, whether it's in three-dimensional mode or an orthographic mode. The next button controls elite movement. In elite movement mode, the Y coordinate is fixed even if you're looking down on the galaxy. Without it, you're in full three-dimensional mode where depending on where you look determines all of your coordinates transitions. The next buttons allow you to turn on and off features. The galaxy button turns on and off the galaxy background. The grid button turns on and off the grid. The star button turns on and off the star field. The next button turns on and off the nav route. And the final button turns on and off bookmarks. The next line controls how the galaxy stars, which are obtained from the EDSM database you downloaded, are shown on the 3D map. When you zoom in to an area, you can tell the control system to go to the galaxy map and download and display stars within a certain hundred light year sector. As you move around the galaxy map, those stars will auto load to a defined limit, in which case the oldest ones will be discarded. Each of these stars are clickable and you can find out system information about them from EDSM. You can control whether or not they're named, whether or not they're displayed. You can also control how many is loaded into memory at any time. There are four options. Note that if you use a very high setting like Ultra, it can end up using a great amount of your video graphics memory and may crash the program. Each graphics card has got a different amount of memory and thus will be able to load a different amount of stars. If you have any problems with it crashing, please set the stars to low. The next section allows you to control your travel path display. You can turn it on and off. You can decide whether or not the stars shown are named and you can also control the date which the travel path starts and ends at. The galaxy objects section allows you to control what galaxy objects are displayed. They are obtained from EDSM and also an internal list inside the program. And you can control either all of them on and off, or you can control a certain type on and off. The final two sections control how the sectors are displayed on the 3D map. You can select between EDSM regions and elite regions, and you can also control whether or not the boundaries are shown, whether or not they're colored, and whether or not the name of the sector is displayed. You can select between EDSM regions or the newer elite regions. The final thing to talk about is the bookmark. All bookmarks which are held inside Ed Discovery are displayed on the screen as long as you have the bookmark selector turned on. These bookmarks are right clickable and you can find out information about the bookmark. You can edit the bookmark and you can delete the bookmark. You can also by clicking the bookmark button at the top bring up a list of bookmarks. With these bookmarks, if you click on them, you will go to the bookmark. If you right click, 
you can edit or delete the bookmark and you can also create a new bookmark. I hope you've enjoyed this video on the new Galaxy map and I hope you enjoy using it. Check out the other videos we have on the new features of 15.0.